This is a very brief draw my life, or animate my life. Um, on the 10th of May 1991, a Cornish baby girl was born by the name of Cleo Erica Pamelia Jane Cook. Mum had no middle names and I think she overcompensated. Uh, this is my mum Sue and she would go on to become not just my mum but also my best friend in life uh, and my biggest supporter of, of all my decisions. Uh, when I was born my mum and my dad had already split up um, and although I saw him for a few years he wasn't really dad material in any way so at the age of four um, I didn't see him again and it was definitely for the best. But in not having a dad in my life my main male figure was my brother when I was born he was already 10 and uh, he was an absolutely amazing big brother. Being older he could look out for me, he could teach me stuff and he was so protective, bless him. And uh, one of the cutest things is that he was the one that taught me to crawl um, and continued to nurture me all the way through my life. Uh, well, quit four years ahead which is when the more interesting stuff happened. Uh, at the age of four I discovered Xena the warrior princess and very quickly fell in love with the TV show and also at the age of four developed a massive crush on Xena and told my mum that when I grew up I was going to marry Xena. Mum also told me that some women married men and that was acceptable if I chose to do that as well and the more I thought about it the more I realised that if I could marry Xena there was no way I wanted to marry a man. Um, however of course I did realise that Xena wasn't real and so it was just a crush that a four-year-old had. But Xena did pave the way for other interests such as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, my favourite TV show and one of my biggest influences in life outside of my family. Um, for example, I absolutely loved the way that she could protect not only herself but she could also protect the people she cared for and when I was given the choice to do any after school activity I chose karate. I also legally changed my name because of the show to Cleo Erica Pamelia Jane Summers, a epic fangirl and a change for the better. But the biggest thing from Buffy was that as I watched the character Willow change and start to date women, I realised that it wasn't just Xena I wanted, I also wanted to date women. And so at the age of 13 I told my friend, or who I thought was my friend who's being drawn now, that I liked women. And she reacted in the most gutting way possible by telling everybody. And within a matter of days, um, our whole year group knew that I dated women, which started several nightmare years at school for me. I was greatly bullied. Uh, I had people throwing things at me, like bricks and hot food, and I even had people drawing on my stuff, uh, writing the words dyke, uh, gay and lesbian on them, which was gutting because I hadn't been ready to come out at this point. So, with all this going on I felt incredibly isolated and didn't really have many people to turn to. So I just threw myself into karate as an outlet for my anger. Um, at the age of 14 I had my first girlfriend who looked nothing like this but there weren't many to choose from um, and it definitely felt right. And one day when she'd walked me home from school I kissed her goodbye on the doorstep and went inside to find out that my mum had seen her kiss me. And although I didn't think she would be, uh, mum wasn't bothered at all. Uh, in fact, I think she was just proud that I wouldn't come home pregnant at a young age. Um, but it was lovely. My mum knew and she accepted it um, and I was out to her. So I told the rest of the family and thankfully most of them accepted it. Um, however, at school I still wasn't fitting in and to make it worse, uh, the decision was made that I needed to have 13 of my teeth removed. And if I didn't fit in before, I definitely didn't fit in after. I lost a lot of confidence, uh, I didn't like eating in front of people or talking in front of people and of course the bullying got worse, reinforcing all of my feelings of loneliness and this is the loneliest I'd ever felt. However after several years of being bullied and really struggling, when I was 18 everything seemed to be going really well. Uh, I still didn't have a lot of confidence in myself, especially in my appearance, but I was happy and uh, that was all that mattered. I had met a girl who would go on to become my first love and we would date for nearly two years. I achieved the amazing grade of black belt second dan in karate, which I couldn't have been prouder of, and I was accepted into Falmouth University, the only one I applied for. So despite all my struggles previously, I couldn't have been happier. Obviously I hit a few bumps along the way in my first year of uni, 
my stepdad, who I saw very much as my dad died, and my first love left me in the same week. And this picture doesn't sum it up, but obviously that got me down. Um, however, I threw myself into university and unexpectedly I met someone that I moved in with. And um, we completely fell in love with each other. She was one of the best human beings I've ever met. And although we are no longer together now, she's still one of my close friends. Um, and I'm so glad to have met her because she was an amazing woman. So back to uni. Um, it flew by, especially the third year, and before I knew it, I was handing in my second and last dissertation. Uh, I got the grade of 2-1 with honours overall, which I couldn't have been prouder of. And uh, that was that, three years of university. I loved every minute of it. I made some truly amazing friends that thankfully I still keep in contact with. But more importantly, I'd learned a lot about myself and I'd managed to find a lot of my self-confidence. And although I wasn't overly impressed with my appearance, still, I learned that I had achieved so much that I shouldn't let that get me down. And uh, for the first time, really felt proud of myself um, overall. Obviously after uni, I did suffer a little bit with post-uni blues. Uh, obviously I miss people. And more importantly, I let my anxieties and my dislikes of myself uh, get in the way of achieving one of my dreams for a little bit then I thought no more if I wanted to do it I had achieved so much that I should carry on go for it and so um, I learned how to use some equipment and decided not to let my fears get in the way anymore um, and started making YouTube videos and although I've only got a small fan base at the moment uh, and only a few subscribers, I absolutely love watching my view count go up. And more importantly, I uh, just felt confident actually making the videos and really enjoying doing it. Um, so that was a massive step for me and I'm so proud I took it. So what about now in my life? Um, I'm currently in the process of moving house, uh, which for the Cornish to leave Cornwall is a big thing but I decided to move up country where career prospects were a little bit better um, and more importantly I can be close to my family um, my brother, his children and his wife uh, he does have more children than this picture but there were very few to choose from I can't wait to move up to be close to them so what about the future? I don't know where it's going to take me but I know I'm extremely excited to find out so that was my animated life so far thank you very much for watching um, and I hope that I can upload a new one in a few years time when I've achieved even more.